New damn burdens, it's me, Skilly19. Welcome back to Let's Play Vagrant Story. Uh, when we last left off, uh, we got the Lily Sigil. And we're gonna go through this door and yaw and see what, what awaits us. Okay, well that was a bit of an odd clip. Like, extremely odd. Like, what the hell just happened? Again, we have to deal with more bats. Yeah, because everybody loves bats. <laughs> Not at all. Nobody likes bats. You're like, you're like the staple annoying enemy in the game. Like, just look at Pokemon. Freaking crying out loud. Bats are like the most... Zubats are like the most hated enemy in the game because they're bloody everywhere. And now we have more block puzzles. Yay! I like these, though. They get... You'd, you'd think that the concept and the novelty would wear off quite quickly. But, um... They don't. The, the, the puzzles in this game are actually, like, really well done. And they're really, really well thought out. And I like it. Mm. Alright. Um, yeah, the legs take more damage. Bitch! Alright, so we have a couple of options now. So we can either go left, right, forward, but... I think right now we're going to go forward, because if I remember correctly... Yeah, there is a room in here that... I think we can get to a treasure chest. I believe, if I remember correctly. Bats, please, just go away. Just wish you would all go away and die. Whack. Man, how good of an exterminator is, is Ashley right now? Oh, and I have Argon. Okay. Because he can, he can like, swat bats out of the flipping air with a giant sword. Alright, so that I have Argon we're going to use. I'm actually going to use that right now. Because that is actually the, the item that you can get. Actually... Let's use the Grimoire Antidote as soon as we have it, because, meh, we have it to cure poison. It won't do anything, but we'll learn the spell, so, yay, more magic. And then we'll go back into that, and we'll actually sort all this to, to neaten everything up. And then we'll use our Elixir of Queens to get more HP, and then I'll use the, uh, the Eye of Argon to show off what it does. So you remember before, like I said, that there are things that you can get that will reveal traps? That's what an Eye of Argon does. Everything in this room, if there's traps in here, it'll reveal them. If not, then meh. Hey, so you get four extra HP, so we're up to 255 now. Let's just do uh, Cure's Numbness. 
And then these are all... Okay, so we're going to use this. So this should mark all the traps. Boom. There's one. Alright, so I know that that's a bad trap, but it's good. It, it's cool that it like shows off this stuff for you, so you can be like, Oh, there's bad things in here. Also, yeah, so we want to jump up here. So this is a tricky jump to make. Hit. Dang it. Hit. Damn it. You can do it. Yeah, nailed it. All right. Now this, I believe, is where the, the secret comes in play. Whoa. Ow. Damn, I was slow with that. Uh, oh, his body takes 69. Whoop. Da. Oh, good. There's another slime in here. Why am I getting horrendous frame, dra frame drops right now? Really doesn't like being zoomed out in this room. All right, uh, let's actually just shoot you with spirit surge because, <laughs> because reasons. Wah! Pug bitch. Yeah, not so tough now, are you? I think that thing would be like the the first instance of an enemy that can actually poison you. So, come on, come over here. Good girl, and <clears throat> ah, that was great. <laughs> wow. Uh, whew. so like I'm saying, free treasure chest. Yay! Uh, <laughs> the bosom cleaver. <laughs> bosom. Uh, this one increases your power against uh dragons and Grimoire Hall, which is fixate. So all the cloud stones, you know, the little floaty, floaty platforms, they will stop moving. They'll freeze in place. That can be good, and it is required for, for like, some puzzles. Well, I mean, it's not required. It just makes them, like, a million times easier. And then this door was locked from the other side, so that's why we wouldn't be able to get into it. Monsters. Skelly Bobs. Uh, 87 with a 97% chance. Yeah, sure. Let's go for your legs. And cut your legs, you swine. Whoa. What about you? 85 with 100 percent, yeah. Let's hit your body. This is a really good time for me to have a weapon that's really good at light. Uh, restores all HP and MP. This is a really good item. It's a really good like panic situation. Like, oh shit, I'm about to die and I have no mana and nothing. So I'm just gonna use one of these. All right, the door's been locked. So come on. Yep. 88. Uh, eh, it's just his right off. Yeah. Mm. You're dead, bitch. Sweet. I think there's another... Is there not another guy in here? Yeah, the door would have unlocked if it was. Oh, God. Uh, ow. Uh, have that back. Uh, 84, yeah, sure. I like how I can attack, like, three times faster than everybody else. Mind you, I do kind of mash the... The circle button just to make sure. Uh, hey, the door's been unlocked. But what else is in here? I don't know if there's actually anything in here. Because I don't remember there being anything in here. Can I? Uh, let's jump to the middle of the room and have a look around. I don't see anything. Because there's no treasure chests or anything, but I wonder why there's... Because, I mean, that's just decoration for the window. There are boxes in here, which is really peculiar. Which maybe suggests that there is something in here, and I'm just being dumb, but... However, if there is, I'll come back to it. But let's continue going... Let's go back this way, actually. Oh, really? You came back? Rude. Uh. Yeah, it's sliced. With my shandy gear. It's bigger than me. Lel. Oh, I don't seem to see anything that's in range. The head and the arms are actually like the best things that can hit. Why am I missing so much? 
I guess because I, I had the, the lucky few episodes where it gave me nothing but crits. The game's just being like, hey, you're just going to miss all the time now. Well, good luck, bro. Broham. Brolacious. No bat. I don't want any of your shenanigans. Uh, I have to fight another lizard man? Really? Alright. back here. <laughs> I love the way those things die. They're like, <laughs> dead. All right, Mr. Bat. Ow. Rude. Don't want any of what you're selling. I remember later on, I think the bats actually get quite dangerous. Okay. So I need to get up there. There's only one block that's moving. Okay, so I want to break you. And then I want to take this. And put it here? Hmm. Maybe not. Can I... There, is there another one that's grabbable? Oh, no, never mind. Okay, so that cloudstone does not work. So we'll go back this way. Because it looks like there's nothing we can do this way. Because that cloudstone's not moving, so there's no way we're going to be able to, like, jump that gap. And if I try, I'll probably fall and hurt myself. Which, no thanks. So let's continue on this way. Into a strange room with a fiery dog. Get wrecked, son. There should be a skelly bob over here. Hello. Uh, 60 to your legs? Yeah, sure. Wow, these guys are really weak with these legs. Look, what is that? Yeah. Punk. Cure bulb. Alright. Is there anything else in this room? I do not believe so. But we do need to go this way, however. Also, I just want to mention, like, how well designed all the rooms are. They're really nice. Let's just smack you with Spirit Surge again. Get destroyed, punk! Another fairy troll to cure the poison that he would have spewed at us had we not killed him. Giant double doors, that looks ominous. And they're locked. Cool. Oh good, a golem. Lovely. So I believe for this guy, you're supposed to use a weapon that has like really high piercing, because as you can see, I do absolutely no damage to him. I don't think uh, Spirit Surge is all that effective against them. Yeah, you're supposed to use like the, the Rusty Nail with Piercing. Because the, the Piercing on the rock is actually really good against them. Oh wow, I miss with a 95% chance. All right. Hit me! Ow. Punk. Alright, let's just wave on his chest. Because I actually want to build the risk a little bit. Because we're going to do something extremely risky. It doesn't matter that I missed. I would have done no damage to him. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and get a super long combo going. To raise my risk really high. And then when he hits me, he'll do a lot more damage. Ow. And that will lower our health quicker. So that when I smack him with the... This one, the one that does more damage, the less health I have, and then we can just continue to hit him and do like 50, 60 damage each time, because we'll have less and less health each time he hits me. Dang it. I absolutely not doing that. Let's see if I can actually manage to land a flipping combo.
Damn it. Uh oh. Ow. I see that, like 50 damage because we have 50 risks, so. Alright, how much are we doing there? There we go, 50. Not bad, not bad. Hey, there we go. Got him. So that's an alternate way of taking care of that guy. So we're going to see what prizes we get, and I guess I'll call that an episode here, because we killed the boss. <laughs> Normal agent still. Alright, what do we win? What's our prize? Uh, that one. Oh, HP plus five. Yeah, I'll take that. Sweet. And we got cure bulbs, the elixir of dragoon, so raise our agility, and we get prosthesia, which is a really good buff as well, so we'll take all of this. And oh, we got battle ability as well. What is mind ache? Reduce the force MP by the amount equal to use, silence, numbness. Uh, reduce the force MP by 30% of the damage dealt. Right, whatever. Oh, that one's actually not bad, because I can swap that for the for the damage one, because that's doesn't work unless we've taken damage. Oh, hey, and the, the Cloudstone's working again. So the one we just used to beat that boss is good against bosses like that, but it's dangerous because you have to, like, smack yourself to get it to work. So we're actually going to change gain life to mind assault. Uh, do I actually want to do that? Yeah, yeah, we'll keep it uh, mind assault. Mind is actually quite nice, but I'm actually going to leave this off here. So I'm Skilly19, and thank you for watching. <laughs>